you've accessed Clean Away COVID. Welcome and thank you for clicking on Clean Away COVID. We have some helpful tips to protect you and your family from COVID-19 in the home. These cleaning methods come from experts, scientists, and doctors who care about your health and safety. This presentation will take about 15 minutes to view. Please feel free to pause if necessary and then rejoin when it's convenient for you. You'll want to watch the entire presentation so that you have all the information you need to safeguard your home from COVID-19. Let's watch this new video about cleaning away COVID. This video is fun to watch with your whole family. If you want to safely disinfect your home, we got a few things here that must be known. This virus, it transfers in the air and flows down spreading everywhere. What? Don't touch your face till you wash your hands and follow these steps in our cleaning plan. Wipe it up. Wipe it up. Wash it down. Wash it down. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. Kick it out. Uh, kick it out. We want, we want low morbidity. Everybody can to see we're all in this together. What a virus to be. You gotta scrub, lather, rinse, repeat. Scrub, lather, rinse, repeat. Blow your nose, wash your hands. Cough, wash your hands. You gotta sneeze. Wash your hands You better scrub, lather, rinse, repeat Now remember, microfiber is your friend Just fold, 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 and fold again You got eight equal size for expert cleaning Give clean as a whistle a whole new meaning Spray it down, spray it down Wipe it off, wipe it off Wash it up, wash it up Clean it out Clean it out. We want, we want social distancing. Everybody can see we're all in this together with the virus to beat. You gotta scrub, lather, rinse, repeat. Scrub, lather, rinse, repeat. Use a loo, wash your hands. About to eat, wash your hands. Pet a pup. Wash your hands You gotta scrub, lather, rinse, repeat oh, yeah. Now think about all the places you touch The doorknobs, the keyboards, the handrail Your clutch, you wanna wipe those down Diligently, cause there's germs out there That wanna spread disease Spread disease Clean it up, clean it up Wash it down, wash it down Wipe it off, wipe it off Kick it out, kick it out one last note that shouldn't need to be said All those labels, be sure they're red Keep chemicals out of the reach of children We can do our part to save a civilian Scrub, lather, rinse, repeat Clean away, COVID, clean, clean away Scrub, lather, rinse, repeat Clean away, COVID, clean, clean away Do you feel energized to clean away COVID? Let's get started. As the video just reminded us, COVID-19 is a virus that spreads from person to person through droplets created when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. These droplets float through the air and can land in your mouth or nose if you are close by. You can also inhale the droplets and get sick. That's why it's very important that you and your family always wear masks and maintain social distancing of at least six feet when you're around other people. These same droplets that float through the air can also land on surfaces and objects and be transferred when you touch these surfaces with your hands. So as we think about keeping our homes clean, we first wanna make sure our hands are free and clean of COVID-19. 
Washing your hands thoroughly and often is one of the best ways to keep your family safe and keep germs from spreading from one family member to another. You should always wash your hands before eating or preparing food, before touching your face, after coughing, sneezing, or blowing your nose, after using the toilet, helping your child use the toilet, or changing your baby's diaper, after coming in contact with a family member who is sick, and after touching animals or pets. Sometimes we wash our hands too quickly, which doesn't give you enough time to remove the germs. Taking 20 seconds to complete these five easy steps will ensure that you've done the best job possible. First, wet your hands with running water. Then create a lather by rubbing your hands together with soap. Really scrub for at least 20 seconds, making sure to wash the tops of the hands, between your fingers, and under the fingernails. Rinse your hands thoroughly under clean running water until they no longer have any soap on them. Then dry your hands with a clean towel. No clean towel? No problem. You can also air dry your hands. When you and your family leave home, you may come in contact with the coronavirus. That's why it's important to always wear your masks and maintain social distancing. Before re-entering your home, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 70% alcohol. Be sure to supervise your children when sanitizing their hands and always keep hand sanitizers out of their reach. Once you're inside your home, have everyone wash their hands thoroughly for 20 seconds. Never ever use sanitizers containing methanol, also known as wood alcohol. Now that we know the importance of clean hands, let's tackle a little house cleaning. As with any job, things are a lot easier to accomplish if you have the right tools. We're gonna share some tools that will help you effectively clean away COVID. Did you know that the best weapon against COVID-19 is already in your home? It's good old fashioned soap, and it's a simple, safe, and strong shield against infection. Scrubbing and lathering with soap helps break down the coronavirus and water washes it away. You can use a bar of soap, a liquid soap like dish detergent or an all-purpose cleaner. When shopping for soap or an all-purpose cleaner, look for products with the Safer Choice logo on the package. These products are effective and safer for you and your family. Microfiber cloths are the next tool you need to clean away COVID. These cleaning superheroes are a magnet for dirt and germs. They outlast other cleaning cloths and contain tiny fibers that remove, trap, and lock germs away. Before using them, fold them in half and then half again which will create eight sides for cleaning. Microfiber cloths are easy to take care of and can be washed hundreds of times, making them an economical choice. They are widely available in big box retail stores, supermarket cleaning aisles, and online. When laundering, be sure to wash them separately with hot water and detergent. And don't use fabric softener or dryer sheets, which can destroy their effectiveness. The third tool you'll need to clean away COVID is a disinfectant. The most important thing to look for is a disinfectant product that contains one of these EPA-approved active ingredients. Ethanol, isopropanol, citric acid, L-lactic acid, periacetic acid, hydrogen peroxide, or sodium bisulfate. These ingredients are hard to pronounce, but safer for you and your family. By the way, did you know that cleaners and disinfectants are two different types of products? 
Most of us don't. Disinfectants are products that kill germs in your home. You only want to use a disinfectant when someone in your home is sick, and we'll learn more about this in just a bit. Disinfectants come in many forms. Some are sprays or liquids. Others are wipes, and still others create a foam. To find a safer disinfectant for your home, you can use an online tool called the EPA List N. Here, you can search to see if disinfectant products you already own contain safer ingredients or are effective against COVID-19. Simply find the EPA registration number of your disinfectant product, which is usually on the back of the label in small print. If you don't have a disinfectant with one of the safer active ingredients, you can make a disinfecting solution using bleach and room temperature water in a pail or a bucket. Use bleach containing 5.25 to 8.25% sodium hypochlorite. Do not use a bleach product if the percentage is not in this range or is not specified. Prepare the bleach solution by mixing five tablespoons or a third of a cup of 5.25 to 8.25% bleach per gallon of room temperature water or four teaspoons of 5.25 to 8.25% bleach per quart of room temperature water. Never mix household bleach with ammonia or any other disinfecting products. This can cause fumes that are very dangerous to breathe in. Now that you've got your tools, let's start cleaning. The trick to keeping your home safe is to clean your surfaces thoroughly and often. This will reduce and remove disease-causing germs from your home. First, pull out your essential supplies, soap and water or an all-purpose cleaner, and your microfiber cloths. With gloved hands, spray the soap or cleaner on the surface. Scrub the surface using a clean microfiber cloth to loosen and remove grime, dirt, and germs. Wipe the surface clean with your cloth. As you clean each new surface, make sure you use a clean side of your microfiber cloth. When you're finished, wash the dirty microfiber cloths separately in the washing machine with hot water and detergent. Remove your gloves and wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water for 20 seconds. After you clean with soap and water, there are items in your kitchen that may need to be sanitized after they are used. These include food preparation items such as cutting boards. One way to sanitize these items is to clean them in the dishwasher. You can also make a sanitizing paste using simple household ingredients. Make the paste using two-thirds of a cup of baking soda to one-third of a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Spread the paste over the area and let it sit for 30 minutes. Then rinse with clean water and allow the surface to air dry. If you prefer to use a store-bought product, SNS Sanitizer is an EPA-approved sanitizer for use on hard, non-porous food contact surfaces. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward to keep the surfaces in your home clean. Now we want to talk about when and how to use disinfectants. If someone in your home is sick, or you think they may be sick with COVID-19, you'll need to disinfect your surfaces after cleaning them in order to protect other family members. Cleaning reduces the number of disease-causing germs in your home, and disinfecting kills the remaining germs. If possible, have the person who is sick use a separate bedroom and bathroom away from other family members. All family members, including your sick family member, should wear masks 
and maintain social distancing of at least six feet when in the same room. There are several precautions to take when disinfecting surfaces. Make sure your children and pets are safely in another room. Open a window or turn on an exhaust fan to ventilate the area, especially if you're using the bleach solution we shared earlier. Put on your cleaning gloves and wear a mask before beginning the disinfection process. And remember, never use disinfectants on food or food preparation areas like cutting boards. If you are pregnant or suffer from respiratory issues like asthma, there are some additional precautions you need to take. If possible, have another adult in your home tackle the disinfecting. If this is not possible, use a disinfectant that contains one of the safer active ingredients we shared earlier. One of the safest active ingredients is hydrogen peroxide, and there are several disinfecting products on the market that are hydrogen peroxide based. And be sure to avoid disinfecting products that list ammonia as an active ingredient. Now that you've taken the necessary precautions, here's how to safely disinfect your home surfaces after you have cleaned them. Pull out your disinfectant and clean microfiber cloths. Spray or apply the disinfectant to the surface. Leave the surface wet with the disinfectant for the recommended contact time. Wipe it dry with a clean microfiber cloth. Disinfectants do not work instantly. Depending on the formulation, it can take several minutes for a disinfectant to kill germs and the time it takes for disinfectants to work can vary from product to product. For this reason, always read the label on the product to find out how long the disinfectant should remain on the surface for it to be effective. This is called the contact time. When you apply or spray a disinfectant on a surface, leave it glistening or sparkling wet for the recommended contact time. Set a timer to make sure it stays on the surface for the correct amount of time, and then wipe it dry with a clean microfiber cloth when the timer goes off. Once you have finished the disinfecting process, remove your gloves and wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water for 20 seconds. There are many surfaces in your home that get touched over and over again by members of your family. These frequently touched surfaces include items such as doorknobs and door handles, light switches, stair rails, cabinet handles, sink faucets, and toilet handles. Once someone who is sick touches one of these surfaces, it must be disinfected again. You can use alcohol wipes with at least 70% alcohol to disinfect these frequently touched surfaces. Make sure the items remain glistening wet for the recommended contact time before wiping them dry. You can also stream your disinfectant into your microfiber cloth and then wipe the surface with the wet cloth. Again, make sure the surface remains glistening wet for the necessary contact time before wiping it dry with a clean microfiber cloth. Many electronic devices in your home are also frequently touched. These include remote controls, computer keyboards, touch screens on tablet computers, and smartphones. Be sure to wipe these surfaces with a disinfectant wipe that contains at least 70% alcohol for the recommended contact time, and then dry the surface thoroughly with a clean microfiber cloth. You may want to put a wipeable cover on your electronic devices to protect them from moisture when you are cleaning and disinfecting them. Before, during, and after cleaning and disinfecting, you need to protect your children and your pets from accidentally accessing these products, which can be very harmful to them. Once you've finished your cleaning routine, safely store your cleaning and disinfecting products away from children and pets. You can place them in a high cabinet away from their reach 
or in a cabinet with a childproof lock on it. Here are some other videos you can watch and share. Clean Away COVID has been brought to you by the Association of State Public Health Nutritionists with guidance from the American Academy of Pediatrics and Pediatric Environmental Health Specialty Units.